Hillary Frank, Weird Parenting Wins, Bathtub Dining, Family Screams, and Other Hacks from the Parenting Trenches. Embark on an enlightening journey through the uncharted territory of parenting with the book summary of a weird parenting wins, bathtub dining, family screams, and other hacks from the parenting trenches by Hilary Frank. Discover unconventional but practical solutions to common parenting challenges, from dealing with whining children to fostering creativity, and learn to embrace your inner weirdness as a parent. The book provides heartwarming anecdotes and real-life experiences that showcase the power of adaptability, resourcefulness, and love in overcoming obstacles and helping children grow. Parenting Hacks As a parent, dealing with whining children can be frustrating, but using a creative approach can lead to a solution. The author shared an experience of how she turned her daughter's whines into a funny song while waiting in a long queue. Similarly, a couple shared how they used an electric toothbrush to lull their fussy baby to sleep. The lesson is to keep trying new things until something works, and never give up. Parenthood doesn't come with a handbook, but creativity can solve many issues. Creative Parenting Hacks Mealtimes and breastfeeding can be a nightmare for parents and caregivers. The author presents two examples of creative parenting hacks that work. The snack meal strategy lets kids enjoy the same meal in snack form, freeing them to play when finished and allowing parents to enjoy dinner in peace. The classic cradle hold may not always work for breastfeeding, but by propping the baby upright with a pillow support, success can be achieved. Creativity and adaptability are key in caring for children. Soothing and empowering techniques for children. The author recalls her childhood fear of a lion hiding beneath her bed and how her mother created a sign that bans scary animals from entering her room. This strategy proved effective, and the lettering became tiny as more creatures were added. The author's mother extended this protection to the guest room at her grandmother's home. While such strategies are useful in calming fears, it is also important to develop a child's sense of bravery. Parents can play bravery games with their children, such as counting to ten in a dark room, starting with hand-holding and gradually increasing the counting time. This approach has been proven effective by many parents. Sibling Rivalry, A Quest for Love the author recounts childhood memories of sibling rivalry with her brother Josh and reflects on whether such tricks are indicative of something else. Through a story from a mother in Washington, she emphasizes that sibling rivalry often stems from a need to feel loved. Parents should acknowledge these character traits and address them rather than dismissing them as just pranks. The author shares a personal experience of sibling rivalry with her younger brother Josh, revealing how she played cruel tricks on him during their childhood, starting with pulling open his eyelids as he slept. As they grew up, her schemes became even more devious, for instance, stealing his tooth fairy gift and leaving a note claiming that children who bled when losing teeth didn't receive any gifts. The author highlights that such rivalries are common among siblings, but they may signify more profound issues like a need for love and attention. To illustrate this point, the author cites a story from a mother in Washington whose elder son started bothering his newborn brother and calling himself stupid and not liked by anyone. The mother realized that her son wanted to feel loved and valued, so she told him that he was her favorite child, even though she didn't have one, and his behavior changed for the better. In essence, sibling rivalry is not just a matter of playful pranks but could be an expression of a need for parental attention and affection. Rather than dismissing such behavior as normal sibling competition, parents should recognize them as deeper character traits that require attention and address them accordingly. Coping Strategies for Parents Being a parent can be overwhelming and stressful, leading to outbursts. However, there are effective ways to manage these emotions. Crying can be a release, and shifting children's attention to something delightful can diffuse tantrums. For instance, Christina's turtle imitation helped her divert an autistic child's attention from the pool, calming him down. This lesson applies to both parents and children, redirecting the mind to something joyful is an excellent coping strategy. Keeping kids entertained As a parent, it can be exhausting to always be on duty. 
The author found a unique solution by using condiment sachets from Asian takeaways and a pretend cash register. This inspired her to teach her child to entertain herself and gave her some much-needed peace and quiet. It's important to find ways to keep kids occupied so that parents can have their own time. Role-play and silent listening Children struggle to verbalize their emotions, role-play can help express nuances. Teenagers, on the other hand, require silent listening. In Role-Play and Silent Listening, the author shares how role-playing with a preschooler helped to understand friendship drama, which was beyond their abstract verbalizing abilities. Silent listening was effective in calming down a teenager who refused to talk. Overcoming Postpartum Sexuality Issues Giving birth is a unique experience for every woman, some experience wonder, while others experience torture. For this author, the process involved having an episiotomy, which resulted in continued pain, especially during sex. Doctors were unhelpful, and some even suggested getting pregnant again as a solution to the scar tissue, which added to the author's frustration. After three years of searching, the author found a gynecologist who accurately diagnosed her with a neuroma, a result of surgeries that produce scar tissue. Although the extraction was painful, the author's sex life returned to normal. It's essential to take your time in finding the right gynecologist and seeking several opinions until you're happy with the care you're receiving. In conclusion, Weird Parenting Wins highlights the unorthodox yet effective ways parents can navigate the ever-changing landscape of raising kids. By focusing on creativity and adaptability, parents can find solutions to challenges in their bonding, communication, and daily interactions with their children. No matter the child's age or stage in life, a little ingenuity goes a long way in building strong, nurturing relationships. Always remember that, through imagination and understanding, every parent has the potential to forge a meaningful connection with their child and foster their emotional and intellectual growth.